Hello, friends. So I am reporting live at this point. I am at Manchester Ward 3. I just voted. I have my sticker. And so I'm here today. Uh, I discussed earlier some of the issues that we have on the ballot. And But the one I want to discuss more with everyone today is everyone's been saying that democracy is on the ballot. So what does that mean? So I'm curious what that means to voters today. And I'm going to ask them. All right. So let's go. Are they allowed to do it right here? Yep. I yep. Okay. I got permission already. All right. Okay. So as discussed, I'm going to talk to some voters today. Um, so you can either feel free to give your name or not give it. Okay. I'm Bridget Powell. Hey, Bridget. And so as we're voting today, it's the midterm elections, and everyone's discussed how important these elections are. So what brought you out to vote today? Um, I am voting um, for a number of reasons. Um, I'm a, traditionally, I'm a voter as a political science major, um, so I'm very interested in um, exercising my choice. Um, I'm very interested in um, pro-choice candidates after the Dobbs decision, which overruled Roe versus Wade. I have um, a lot of concerns about the um, assault on the Capitol, and I think it's very important to um, take a hard line uh, with respect to people that are espousing not only fanatical ideas and, um, you know, very, very far right ideas, uh, but I also think it's a, it's important to um, take a hard line with respect to people that are espousing untruths, election deniers. Yeah, I understand that's brought a lot of people out. And that kind of brings me, one of the questions I've been asking people is everyone saying democracy is on the ballot. What does that mean to you? I think um, we came perilously yeah, close um, with respect to the January assault on the Capitol in creating a scenario where um, the law established in this country to peacefully elect a president um, was not going to be followed. And I think that's, um, it was really dangerous. And I think it doesn't bode well for our democracy if people try and stop the democratic process. Right in that door. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming out to me today, Bridget, okay. and it was great talking with you. Nice talking with you. All right. So, yes, I am still at Manchester Ward 3. <laughs> Not having much luck here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sidewalk approach. So, we're going to go grab a coffee somewhere local here in Manchester, New Hampshire, and uh, just grab a coffee and talk to people on the street instead. So, okay. Yeah.